gentlemen, Juan John here with the legend himself, Mr. Rick Turner. We are here at the Heartbreaker Lounge with Toby. The heartbreaking dog. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. That's it. And we have got this beautiful Rick Turner guitar. Is it weird that people say your name when they're saying, talking about your I'm guitar? used to it by now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 40 years in, I'm used to it. Yeah. yeah. Now... We were talking a little earlier. This is a substantial guitar. Thank you, man. It is rock and roll. It is acoustic. It is beauty. It is sexy. Like, it's got everything, man. Um, tell us a little bit about this guitar. Like, the woods, it's definitely mahogany. Yep. And maple. And maple. Uh, uh, hard rock maple neck. An Ipe fingerboard, in this case. Um, we w switched over to using Ipe as our primary fingerboard wood a couple of years ago when it got very difficult to export rosewood. Mm -hmm. And I found this, this uh, marvelous, very, very dense Brazilian wood uh, ipe, mm -hmm. which is closer in some ways to ebony than it is to rosewood. And it's proven to be an excellent fingerboard wood for us. It's tough, it's dense, uh, it's reasonably easy to work with for us, mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's very stable. So it's perfect. Beautiful. And this is one of our simpler models. This is um, a special, uh, but with the maple neck, normally the specials have a mahogany neck. This brings it closer tonally to the sort of the, the flagship of the line, the, the mm -hmm. Model 1 uh, Deluxe as played by Lindsey Buckingham. And this has the same electronic setup as, as Lindsey's guitars. It's got the humbucker, which I personally make. Nice. And, and then it's got our preamp and uh, EQ function. Okay, so let's dig into this. Yeah. All right, so now that I got you here, ladies and gentlemen, you can send in all the questions you want because we're gonna know them. We'll know all the answers here in a second. Now we're, I believe this is the, that sounds like the humbucker to me. That's the humbucker. You can pull the tone control knob, that one. one, pull that out. You're now single coil. <gasps> I didn't even know that. See, yeah. like, it's a secret, right? Now, what is um, your uh, approach to making the pickup itself? It's a very simple pickup in a way because it's just wound directly on ceramic magnets, the, the two coils. But it's wound with very thin wire, 44 gauge wire, with a lot of turns. Now normally you think of ceramic magnets as having too brittle a tone, mm -hmm. but we can play with the turns ratio and the ceramic and get the inductance of the pickup right where we want it yeah. in that 3.2 uh, range. And, um, and then coupling that with the active electronics gives you tremendous versatility. You don't lose any highs down through the cable. Uh, and then with the optional EQ, which this one has, you got tremendous range of tones for a single pickup guitar. Yeah, and you said something earlier today that um, caught my attention big time because I'm primarily uh, an acoustic guitar player. Right. And you said that this was the the acoustic guitar player's electric guitar. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Aesthetically, it is closer to its acoustic roots mm -hmm. than many electric guitars. Uh, and it just has a feel to it that is kind of kindred to a fine acoustic it guitar. It very much does. It's very comfortable. I was I was telling him earlier how when I do hop onto an electric guitar nowadays, it's just a little, I don't know, it feels weird now. Um, just awkward, because I've been playing acoustic for so long. Um, but this feels very natural. I mean, I kind of want to just... <laughs> that doesn't sound like your ordinary acoustic guitar. No, no, it does not at all. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it's great. So let's let's get into these now. So this is yeah. a tone a tone control. So we've got that is a passive tone control in the active network. Okay. So it will feel like a very smooth regular ele passive electric guitar tone control. Yeah. Um, and uh, with with a very nice smooth roll off, so it doesn't happen suddenly. Yeah, I noticed so, that. Yeah. So like we have like the all the way off. I mean, it's, right. yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's very usable. It's not right. just. <laughs> and it's the interesting thing about combining passive with active, mm -hmm. and using a passive control in the active circuitry. And by the way, we are playing through the Bogner Shiva amplifier through the clean channel at the moment. And uh, here in a second, I've been notified that we will be playing dirty, <laughs> which, you know, <laughs> who doesn't? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, so yeah, the tone is awesome, usable. Uh, the volume, now the volume is same thing. Like this is- Yeah, very smooth, yeah. Mm -hmm. The the swells, yeah, they're very nice, very nice. It's not like cut, cut, cut yeah, nine, right, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's certain guitar the makers that use those cheaper The taper of the pots is 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 perfect. Yeah, and and the way they're used within the circuit mm -hmm. is very, very right on. Volume on and tone on top. Now, what are what are these guys down okay. here? Okay, the switch okay. turns on the active semi parametric equalizer. Down at the bottom there, if you go full clockwise, you have 12 dB of boost at whatever frequency that middle control is set to. Okay. So try... Going all the way back? Yeah, try going all the way back with that okay. cranked all the way up. Okay. Big bass boost. Yeah, baby. But with the clean on top. So you're gotcha. getting the bass boost, but you're not losing the clarity of the highs. Right. The True. other thing nice. that that can do is by giving that big boost, you're kicking the front end of your amplifier, mm -hmm. and you can really use it to tune in the, the harmonics that are being uh, produced by the distortion. Characteristics nice. of the amp. Now, so try playing and, and sweeping that 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 frequency control. Yeah. There we go. Let's go. Leave, leave it on full boost. Okay. And now just play a little bit. Roll that back a little bit there. Oh, nice. Yeah. like personally that you have put all of that into the guitar itself yeah it all plays beautifully the the controls all do what they're supposed to do um, they all react with the amplifier perfectly and we talked about this yeah it's like if you and I had pedal boards it'd be a cable right like yes yeah, yeah. you know that's yeah. that's how I like to roll and you do too and the guitars you build are insane and they absolutely lend themselves to nothing at all like why would you buy a guitar like that's made like this and put a box in front of it just just play the guitar. Play the guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Just play right. the guitar. That's what it's for, you know, and it's... Part of the design exercise for me on this was to see how far I could take a single pickup electric guitar in tonal possibilities. Okay. And it was really fun. Um, this was the first guitar that I designed all the way on paper. It, it didn't, there was not a slow evolution of this guitar. Mm -hmm. It was a, a total concept. And what was gratifying to me was when I got the first one done and plugged it in, it sounded exactly like what I'd had in mind. Nice. And it was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's not... not and that was, not, for, that was 40 years that. ago, 41 years ago that I designed this. So, Jeez, yeah. nice. 41 years ago. Good yeah. night. That's yeah, you awesome. were in diapers. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I was even born. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're switching to channel two to be dirty. One. Turn the EQ on. Yep, you okay. got it. Got that. Turn the 
Boost all the way up. You got it. All right. Now play and mess with that middle knob, which is the frequency knob. clarity on this thing well it's great to have the clarity and the overdrive happening at the same time yeah and that's because you're you're putting this big boost in and moving that boost around where you find it just kicks the front end of the amplifier just right (laughs) but you don't have to lose any of the clarity while you're doing that yeah 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 now you'd said something that lindsey buckingham said to you once you yeah. built him his guitar and what was that because people need to know this because it's very very true when you when you've got a guitar like this in your hands when i delivered the first one uh fleetwood mac was uh, in uh, rehearsals for their tusk tour and i got there early it was a huge sound stage in hollywood and uh lindsey's guitar tech ray lindsey put the guitar plugged it in put it up on stage and we went to the back of the hall probably 200 feet away and waited for the band to come in. Lindsay came in, saw the guitar, picked it up, didn't put it down for three hours. And uh, after we played it for about 20 minutes, the band came in, they started to play. Uh, Lindsay yelled uh, back to Ray, said, uh, leave the Les Paul, the Strat, and the Ovation at home. This is all I need. Nice. And then yeah. uh, Mick came over and said, Rick, it sounds really good with the band. We really like it. How soon can you have a backup? Because Mick knew that going out on the road, they needed a spare. Yeah. (laughs) And then it was another spare and another spare and another spare. (laughs) And Lindsay's gotten eight of them from me over the years. One of them is a baritone, which is really cool. That's wonderful. You know, and the... I'm I'm a purist, man. Yeah. I I don't when I do play electric guitar, it's just straight. It's a cable. It's if I want to sound want it to sound like a strat, I'll I'll play a strat. I'll yeah. Play, you know, play Les Paul. This thing does so much, so well. I'm I'm a total fan of this like Great. mixing thing. You know, it's, yeah, like it's the yeah. truth. Like that was from so lightly moving this sound yeah, up, right? right yeah. You know, the get, get back in here, you got that spank again. That's just yep. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, oh, dude. Hey, that's what I do. Right? Because I'm <laughs> very un- well. I'm basically unemployable at anything else. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Juan John. This is Mr. Rick Turner. Hi. That's Toby. We're in the Heartbreaker Lounge, and we are looking at the beautiful... Now, remind me what this model is called. That is a Model 1C Special with a maple neck. <laughs> you can do anything with this nasty thing. <laughs> Catch you next time.